So my name is Dr. Jonathan Lena. I'm one of the endovascular neurosurgeons here at the Medical University of South Carolina. So here we're looking at a CT angiogram of the head and neck of one of our patients who uh, you can see that there's a blockage of the right internal carotid artery. And now we're looking at the actual angiogram and thrombectomy. Um, we've just gotten access into the femoral artery. We're putting up one of the main catheters uh, into the aortic arch and we're trying to get that catheter right now um, into the right common carotid artery. And so at this point in time, we're setting up for just a uh, run or angiogram of the head and neck, um, trying to identify exactly where the blockage is. So the first thing that we end up doing is injecting contrast through that main catheter into the carotid artery on the right-hand side, and that lets us visualize where the blockage is exactly. So now we're navigating the catheter um, into the right internal carotid artery and we're injecting contrast as we're doing it. Uh, the inner catheter is staying stable and then we're actually advancing the outer catheter um, over that inner catheter into the, uh, pretty far along the internal carotid artery. We've removed the internal catheter, so now we're just functioning as, uh, we just have one catheter that's acting as our uh, guide catheter, the main catheter that's gonna stay in place and allows us to have a working channel um, to remove the clot through. And so all we're doing here is setting up for an angiogram or a, uh, a view of the blockage and the blood vessels in the head and neck and here we can see that there's a clot in the carotid artery as it's going um, into the skull. And this case was special in that we were able to, we were one of the um, first centers in the nation to be exposed or have access to this uh, new uh, larger catheter that um, makes it easier to remove the clot um, and it's quicker and um, uh, in theory safer for the patients. So here we're just putting that uh, new catheter, the ACE 68, into the guide catheter. We're advancing up through and we're gonna just get it into the uh, right internal carotid artery. And here you can see the guide catheter and that A68 catheter is coming up and it is now out of the guide and into the internal carotid artery on the right side. So we're removing the wire that we advanced that A68 catheter over. And now we're hooking that catheter up to um, a, a vacuum device or a suction device, which is gonna help us remove the clot that's blocking the right internal carotid artery. And as we're um, sucking the clot, we're also trying to advance the catheter, or push the catheter even higher uh, into the internal carotid artery, and it's actually gone into one of the branches of the internal carotid artery, the right middle cerebral artery. Um, and this is something that's um, actually ended up being very nice for us as it uh, essentially 
uh, was able to engulf the clot uh, while still aspirating and advancing it, which is, uh, wasn't necessarily always able to be done before. And here on the right-hand side of the screen, you can see uh, we are slowly able to bring blood back and essentially aspirate the clot or suck the clot out that's blocking that carotid artery. <clears throat> so we've now disconnected the tubing or the, the vacuum tubing and we're doing a quick um, angiogram and this is demonstrating that we have in fact removed the clot and restored normal blood flow to the brain and it's only taken us about four and a half minutes 